cigar. Understood, understood. And the cigar is like having an intimate relationship. You gotta keep it warm, keep the fire going. The best thing goes out. Go smoke one of my favorite cigars. This is called My Father, the Judge. By the Garcia Garcia family. Awesome cigar. Now, El Jefe Cigars is uh, my second cigar venture. Montana Cigars and it was sitting in my first cigar venture. And that was my learning curve, was that, that location. And that location uh, has been a very successful location uh, since we opened there. A couple friends of mine, uh, because at El Jefe we have uh, four partners. And I'm the common denominator between us four guys. And like on Chris, this is where all the magic happens. <laughs>
everything I do, it has to it, it is around us as well. So in other words, what you're saying is when you walk through the door, you walked in naked because you did not have a cigar in your hand, basically. Yeah. yeah. Right. I like walking naked, though. <laughs> I, used to, I used to like a lot better when I was you know, 20 years ago when I was actually in some kind, some kind of shape other than circle. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do any special events or have any kind of catering in-house or anything like that? We do special events like for holidays, which is, uh, we have Christmas party coming up. And uh, every Friday we do a live performer performance by uh, Krista Womack. And uh, she comes in, um, and uh, she's a, a keyboard, keyboard player, and her and she sing, sings um, Old School R&B. Old School R&B, okay. People, people enjoy that. It's about a strip short every Friday. I purchase a cigar, um, I grab your beverage, and uh, enjoy the smooth sound of Krista Womack. Awesome. I can say cigars is intimate for me um, because I used to I used to have a career that was real stressful, very stressful, you know, almost like air traffic controller type. And um, but then being um, a marine with uh, post stress, um, crashing, all kind of stuff like that, it's hard to find that fine line to keep you straight. You know, something that keeps you balanced, a uh, true, uh, true art. And a lot of people find it in alcohol, or find it in, in, um, in um, uh, sexual gratification, or or uh, golfing, or anything like that. And uh, cigars was thing to me. I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a big drinker. I drink a little. And um, the cigars found that balance point to where I can sit down and enjoy the cigar and it comes to my mind. I know she's um. You have a military background. I also saw something about donating to an organization. Is this their organization you guys are associated with, or is it an organization you started? Mm -hmm. well, one, of, one of the uh, backers of the um, uh, cricket, uh, she's into, um, uh, she was a uh, first responder and, uh, and she's paramedic and uh, EMP and firefighter and all that stuff like that. So she has a, a, a tight bond with that type of community where she wants to reach out and with the military, with our first responders and stuff like that. So people donate cigars to that organization. I know in other locations, other states, other cities, you know, you walk into a cigar lounge and there's all breeds, all types, and everybody in there. You are the first and the most stylish <laughs> that I have walked into a cigar and just like, you know, I, I mean, you saw me when I came in. I kind of just stopped at the door. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm not even going in there. So how how many women do you see coming into cigar lounges or enjoying cigars? Because I know for a lot of people, they think, you know, you know women don't do that. And many, many. Many, yeah. Yes. Awesome. So as far as your clientele here, is it about even or? It's about even. It's a lot of ladies coming. So, awesome. Because ladies like a, a nice, comfortable, safe environment. They do. And un, un, they, they want to come, and they don't want to feel intimidated when they, when they smoke cigars. They don't want to come in with a man driven in, uh, or a uh, place that to where to say uh, women don't belong. Is there a stigmatism for um, female cigar smokers? Like, is there, why do you think there's not more women smoking women, cigars women, than men? Women right now is immune base in cigar smoking. And one thing about women, especially women of color, they dare to conquer. Mm -hmm. You know? And when they get into something, they conquer, they take over, you know. And so there there's a cigar lounge, uh, Stanley Cigar Lounge, that's uh, female owned. And and um, it was an awesome place to go smoke with a female owned man. So what's, what's your take on it? Everything you say. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you say. But believe it or not, I, I found when they had um, National Cigar Week, mm -hmm. I saw so many females uh, smokers. And I was very surprised that it was just that many. It, it's really a lot of them that's out there. And they yeah. smoke with sophisticated cigars. Yes. They're not smoking little empty little cigarellos or trying to look cheap. Yeah. Right. <laughs> They're not trying to do we're not trying to kill, we're trying to do what we need to do. And, um, you know, in, in different different businesses and stuff like that, you might think uh, a female might be coming in there to find some other yada, yada, yada. But 
That ain't the case when, when it comes down to cigars. They walking in like, like, like they in business. They all in business, you know. They closing their business deal, you know. So <laughs> they, they fire up a stove, you fire up a stick, fire up a cigar. And uh, you, you gotta appreciate that. You gotta, yeah. you gotta applaud that. You know, you can't be intimidated by it at all. You know. Shout outs to Christine Russell Morgan. She has a mobile cigar lounge. Christine. I saw it on Instagram. In the fingertips. <clears throat> and yeah. she's very, very successful um, in what she does. You know, and like I said, uh, cigar smoking is no judgment zone. That's that's why I like. So in, in the last, I've been smoking for about. 25 years, you know, the last 15 years, we have been making a, a very big footprint on the industry of cigar smoking, and, um, and, and I like it, I like it a lot. Now, half your cigars are for us, by us, and uh, we need this type of vibe, we need this type of genre in our community. Go by and check it out. Awesome prices, awesome selection, but awesome atmosphere, unbeatable. Guarantee you'll be satisfied. See you soon. This is awesome right now. So definitely get you guys savage, the big boy cigars. Like and subscribe. Make sure you guys, if you're in the Atlanta area, driving through College Park, maybe even driving through East Point, just come on down to LFA Cigars Company. Have yourself a cigar. Make sure you dress nice. Now don't don't, don't don't come in here with you. You, you, you don't don't crazy. Judgment zone. You this is no judgment, judgment zone, but I recommend this is me. This isn't them. They're not gonna judge you. I'm gonna judge you. I ain't going to judge don't you. Don't address though. You, you don't right. wear flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, come at, well, well, come as you thing. are. Like and subscribe, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you put hit that notification bell for all of the latest videos. If you know of a location that you would like for us to go and visit. By all means, let us know. But at the end of the day, signing out. This is Double Our Lifestyles. We'll see you guys in the next video. It was